What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another question dealing with the midpoint. So a line has endpoints at these coordinates, five, negative two, and then 12 and n. And then we're told the midpoint is at n and seven. And we have to find both n and n here. So we're given the endpoints of a line. So let's actually just draw this out to give us a quick visual. So we have five, negative two, we got uh, 12 and M. And then we have a midpoint that's going to be at N and 7. Now, just in general, what is the coordinates of the midpoint, right? The X and the Y value of the midpoint. Well, it's equal to the sum of the X values of the endpoints divided by two, and then the sum of the y values of the endpoints divided by two. And so if we want to make individual um, equations for both, we could say the x value of the midpoint is this, and then we could say the y value of the midpoint is this part over here. And so from here, what we can do is just sub in everything and then solve for that uh, M and N. So notice that, uh, let's start off with the X value. So the X value of the midpoint, let me rewrite the equation up here. Let's, um, okay, so this is like X1, this is Y1. This is like the X value of the midpoint. This is the Y value of the midpoint. This is like x2, this is y2. Well, let's just sub everything in. So the x value of the midpoint is n. Okay, then we have x1, which is five, plus x2, which is 12. And then we're dividing by two. All right, so we could solve for that n value. So here, we would end up with what? 17 over two. And then 17 over two, that doesn't simplify any further. If you wanna write it as a mixed fraction, it would be eight and a half. I'm gonna keep it in that format though. So that's the end value right there. So we're done half of the question. And then notice to solve for the M value, we're gonna to have to use the Y value, the midpoint formula. So that, let's rewrite that formula. This one's gonna take a little bit more math because we're actually solving, or sorry, the Y values. Because we're actually solving for the Y values of an endpoint, not of the midpoint. So we're gonna to have to rearrange this a little bit, but it's not gonna to be too bad. So the Y value of the midpoint, notice that we're given that in this case. So it's seven. So we're not solving for that. Y1 is negative two. And then y2 is what we're solving for, that m value, and then we're gonna be dividing that by two. So you gotta solve this over here. And then what we can do is we can put the seven over one and then just cross multiply because we have a single fraction on each side. When you have a single fraction on each side of the equal sign, you can then cross multiply. So we'd have seven times two equals one times this entire expression which is just negative two plus m. So we'd have 14 equals negative two plus m. The m is positive, so let's keep it on the right side. Let's bring the negative two over. m would be 14 plus two. When this comes over, it becomes a positive. m would be 16. All right, so that is the other answer. So the n is 17 over two, the m is 16. And then if you have the time, you can Check your answer. So if we're given endpoints five, negative two, and we're given the endpoints 12 and 16, well, if you find the midpoints of these, uh, five plus 12 divided by two would give you 17 over two, which is the X value of the midpoint, which is the N value. And then 16 plus negative two would give you, it'd be like 16 minus two, which is 14 divided by two, would indeed give you seven, which is what we were given. All right, so we can be pretty confident 
that those are the correct solution.